Oh, Ernie, you have mute? Ernie, you're muted. Okay. Okay, we're on Mem Dalid, Yuma 44. So we said that the Pasuk says, Adam lo When the coin Gunnel was doing is doing the Avoda, no one else can be. We'll see where. Initially, the din is he, no one else can be in the Heichal. Yachal afilo bazara. Maybe that means nobody could be in the Azara either. Talmud Lomer ba Olmoid. Olmoid refers to the Heichal. Ain li alab Olmoid shabam midbar. Fine. That's the Mishkan in the midbar. Shilo be sulam iminai. How do I know that the same din applied in Mishkan Shilo in the Beis HaMikdash? Talmud Lomer ba Kodesh. Any time that there's kedusha, so only al Torah. So this is when the coin Godel is doing the avoda of the ktoris in, in the kodesh kadoshim. At that time, nobody could be in the heichal. What about bishas matan domi minayim? What about he also applies blood in the kodesh kadoshim? Is that the same din that no person could be in the heichal? Yeah. Kapara always refers to Matan Domi. So if, when he goes in, there can't be anybody there. I'd say so until he leaves. The coin Godel should have atonement for himself and for his family of Ad Kokal Yisrael. To teach me kaparoso, kodemas lechaparos beso, his personal atonement precedes the atonement of his family. Kaparos beso, kodemas lechaparos echav akoanim. The kapara of his family precedes the kapara of his co- the brother koanim. The kaparos echav akoanim, kodemas lechaparos kol kal yisrael. That's the beraisa. Omer Mar, Ainli Al Bishasak Toira. How do you know my mashma that the Choladam Lo Yebo Moed is referring to the time of the Haktara? Omer Rabba Vichin Omer of Yitzhak, Barabdimi Vichin Omer of Elozer. Omer Kro, Vichiper Bado, Uviad Beso, Uviad Kol Kaha Yisrael. Ezeo Kaparo, Shesrovalo Lovesu, Lechava Kohanim, Kol Kaha Yisrael. What act of atonement? is the same for him, for his family, for the Kohanim and for Kla Yisrael. There's no, there's no chiluk, like by other korbanos. That's the k'toyres. So, afraid the Gemara k'toyres v'chaperes? Does k'toyres have atonement power? Gemara says it. The Atari Rav Chananya, l'madu l'k'toyres v'chaperes, that when they had him, when they had him a geifa in the uh, in the in the midbar, the ktoris was mechaper for klal yisrael. The ton very shvel al mak ktoris mechaperes al loshen hara. Ktoris specifically is mechaper for the ovon of loshen hara. Why? Yover dover shebech shai bichaper al meisach shai. That something that is done in a hidden place, the katoris is done in a hidden place, either in the Heichal or in the Kodesh Kadoshim. Loshon Hora is also something that's whispered in hidden places. So it's appropriate. It's an awesome. We learn in a process. Learn a Mishnah. Not only do they have to leave the Heichal, but the 22 Amas space between the Mizbeach and the opening of the Heichal, also nobody can stand there. That's during giving 
Ketoyres on the Mizbech HaPnimi in the morning and the afternoon, every day when Ketoyres was offered, because this is the immediately adjacent area, Bein Ulam Lam Mizbech. Alva B'Shas HaKetoyres Tilifnai V'Lifnim, but on Yom Kippur, when they do Ketoyres in Kodesh Kodoshim, then Mehechal Parshi, because that's the adjoining space. You have Kodesh Kodoshim, and then you have Kodesh of the Heichal. So you have to, that, the adjoining area has to be vacant of people. But Mibena Ulam Lam Mizbeach, which is the second area, Lo Parshi, that they don't have to leave. Mostly for Vada Barav Avarmi Lo Kedin. Rabbi Yossi Oymer, Keshem Shem Porshim Mibena Ulam Lam Mizbeach B'Shas HaKtoyro. Just like no person could be Vein Ulam Lam Mizbeach during the time of the HaKtoyro. Kach Porshin B'Shas Matan Park Koin Mashiach U Par Elam Dover Shul Tzibur U Sreya Vodazara When the Koin Godel Paskind inappropriately, he has to bring a par. Or the Sanhedrin Paskind inappropriately, and they have to bring a par Elam Dover Shul Tzibur. Or the Nasi had to do a, had to bring a Sawyer of a Vodazara. They, they, these were korbonois where there was also blood that was sprinkled on the paroiches. They didn't go in the Kodesh Kadoshim. That was only done once on Yom Kippurim. But these korbonois, there was blood sprinkled on the outside paroiches. So Rabbi Yossi is saying that just like During that Torah of Ktoires, people had to leave from the Bein Olam Lamizbeach that occurred also during Matan Domim for these special korbonis. So Hamamali Yesh Bein Echel Bein Olam Lamizbeach. What? How does how does the Hechel warrant a higher madrega or the same madrega as Bein as between the Olam Lamizbeach? Ella, rather, to teach me. In the Heichal, people had to leave the Heichal, whether they were doing the Ketoris or they were doing Matan Domi. They only, they would not leave that area by Matan Domi, only by Ketoris. So the Gemara says, B'Shas Aktor Mi Aparshi. So you see, Beit Ulam Lamis Bech they had to leave when they did the Torah. My love, the Shasak Torah Lifnai Lifnim. Perhaps this is also referring to the offering of the Torah in Kodesh Kadosh and Yom Kippur. Lo, the Shasak Torah the Hechal every day, when the Torah was offered in the morning and the afternoon, as part of the Oilus Satomi Bein Ababayker Bein Arbayim. That's what we're talking about, not Yom Kippur. So Ihoch Ima Maila Vesulo. So then what do you mean that there was no other Mila? Ha ikka ha Mila. Dilum echel parshi ben chazak tor di day. During the time that Ktoris is offered in the Hechal, people have to leave ben ulam lusbeach. Ben de chazak tor lutav lifnim. Whether it's Ktoris that's offered in the Hechal or in the Kodesh, Kodesh. But vilu ben ulam lusbeach lo parshi al ben chazak tor de Hechal. But people only had to leave Ulam Lamizbeach when they did the Haktara daily. Haktani el shbeichal portion be b'shas haktara ve'en shelo b'shas haktara. I I thought it says be'echal people had to leave whether you do the Torah or not. We made Ulam Lamizbeach ein portion el b'shas haktara. And b'ha ikaha ma'ila and you then you should have said they have this extra kedusha the ilum be'echal parshi ben kedusha di day ben kedusha lifnai v'lifnim. From the Heichal, the no human being could be in the Heichal, whether an act in the Heichal or in the Kodesh Kodoshim. But Ilu Bein Aulav Lo Mizbech Lo Parshel Kedusha De Heichal has nothing to do with Kodesh Kodoshim. Amar Rav Hashem Prisha Achasi. It's one. It's it's not a kasha. Once you have to leave that area, it's called Prisha. It's one mila. The Heichal, 
When somebody's in the Lila theme, they have to leave there, whether it's for Akhtar or whether it's for Matan Donim. And between Ulam Lezbech, they, they didn't have to leave that area at all when the coin Ko- Godel was in the Kodesh Kodesh. Omar Mar. Kach portion b'shas matan par koin moshiach who par on davar shol tzibur sri avodas kachovim minol on the fact that we we gave it as a given that just like when they offered the k'tores on Yom Kippur people had to leave the heichal how do we know that when they gave blood on the curtain for the par koin moshiach or the par on davar shol tzibur or the seirim that were brought from avodas zara that it's the same din. Amrav Padas, Asya Kapara Kapara Miyama Kippurim. It says in both places Kapara. And therefore, we learn a hekish between the two. Just like on Yom Kippur, you have to leave. On these Korbanas, you have to leave as well. Amrav Akhabarab. Shmami no Malis to Raisa, Vahachi Gmir Lehu. These special separations between levels of Kedusha, that there's a difference between one chilek in the Migdash versus another, that has been studied by Mesoyres through a tradition, through a legacy. If it was merely a rabbinic law, so Maishna bin now why would you want people to leave the area between the Mizbech and the Ulam, because Dilma Mikri Vaili, it's a Gzeira. That if you had people there, they might walk into the Echel. Well, if that's the case, Mikulaz or Anami Nefeshu Dilma Mikri Vaili, then why just between the Ulam and the Mizbech should people leave? Maybe there should be nobody in the whole Azara. So, Beina Ulam and Mizbech and Vidigmar Kivan the Lomafsik Midi, that's not such a big separation between the two areas. Low mink remills, so people don't see the difference and they're going to walk into the Eichel. Azara, Kivan the Ikim is Bech Achitz on the Mavsik. Since there's a big Mizbech on the outside, which is a separation between the Azara and the opening of the Eichel, Min Kremil, so people see that there's a different area. They'll remind themselves and they won't walk in. Amar Ravish Mami, no, we learn from here. Kedushas Ulam. The antechamber walking into the Heichal. The Heichal, Chadamilsi, is on the same level. The Isak, that the Shtei Kedushas Nimin. If the Ulam was like a, another separate level of Kedusha, so Ulam would be Gufa Gzeira, the Nekam, the Nigzer Gzeira, the Gzeira, and we're going to make Gzeira Bena Ulam Lemizbeah. So maybe from here we can learn. That the Ulam and Eichel have one Kedusha. Of course, it's law. You can't learn from that. Ulam, Uvena, Ulam, Lizbech, had a Kedusha. Really, the area between the Mizbech and the Ulam is, and the Ulam itself is one Kedusha. Heichal, the Ulam, Shtei Kedushos. But there is a difference. You go up in, in Mila between the Ulam and the Heichal itself. Then the Mishnah said, Bechal Yamai, Chayte, Bishal Kesem. Every day they would dig the coals out with a clee made out of silver. And on Yom Kippur, they just used one. They didn't transfer again from the silver to the gold. They went away, they, right, they went right away with a golden clee that held the coals. And that's what they used. My timer. Kodesh Baruch didn't necessarily want to have them spend both silver and gold. Hmm. And they could do it just with the silver pan, which is less expensive than gold. That's every day. And the Mishnah said on Yom Kippur, they did use a golden one. And they would go in, they didn't have to transfer from one to the other. My time. Because the coin Gordel is doing all the Avon himself, we were very concerned that he would get tired. And therefore, we, we, required, we don't require him to transfer. That initially, they started with four and they went down to three. If so, 
some of the calls were swept away off of the pan. They swept it into the irrigation ditch. One price has said that the extra was a kav. The tani the kabayim. Some say two kavs. Bish lemach the tani kav. I understand very good according to one who says it was one kav that was discarded. So that's the sheet of the rabbon, who said they start with four, and they 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 pour it into one. That's only three. So they lose one. Elahach the tani kabayim mani. Then the one who said that two are lost, who is that? Lo Rabbonon, the Lo Rabbiosi, because Rabbiosi said you start with a six and then you went down to three. So who, who is it? It's a new cheetah. The time Rabbi Shmuel Benoit Rabbi Yochum Berko, Oymer Bishal Kaboy, my Yamachtis. He claimed you went from four to two. And that way too was the one that was left extra. No, you could learn that it's the sheet of Rab Yoisi himself. And this is how you have to learn. A saw in Eretz Yisrael was five kav, but in the midbar was six kav. So, so really you went from five to three, and that's how you got. That's why there were two extra. Because the difference between the, the Midbori saw and the regular saw was one was six and one was five. If you ended up with three and you started with five, you had two extra that were left. Then every day this coal pan was heavy. Today was light. The walls were thick. Today they were thin. Every day the handle of this pan was short. Today it was long. Why? My time. He would carry it and on his arm so that the, 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 the handle rested a little bit on his arm, made it easier for him to carry it. They didn't have a cover. They're different colors of gold. On this day was a greenish cover. Zahav, Zahav Tov, Zahav Ophir, Zahav Mufiz, Zahav Shachut, the Zahav Sagur, Uzav Parvayim. Seven types of gold. And we'll explain each one. Zahav is Zahav Tov, the Chsiv. Uzav aretz ahi tov. That's the highest level. Zahav ofir. The asi me ofir came from a place called ofir. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, we'll call back in eight o'clock. And those okay. who want to come.